NC Prepper here again with you. To, wanted to do a video about a program that this Dan Depot online was running where they were offering a free knife. You just pay the What's shipping. It's a lot like the Mora knives that everybody's accustomed to the plastic sheath, you know, the plastic belt clip that comes on, the drain hole at the bottom, uh, the rubberized handle. Uh, got the Scandi grind that a lot of people are used to. Uh, this one they're calling the Woodsman uh, and it's by Dan's Depot. It's If you're not on their mailing list it's something that I had received a couple weeks back and they're they're trying to come up with their own brand of knife at Dan's Depot. Uh, they've uh, taken a lot of input from users. They've used a lot of the more knives. They like they've taken what they like about them, and then they've tried to add a little bit more to it to get it more towards what they think their customers would like. The handles the a little bit different. Like I say, are a lot like the the more as the blade sh is shaped like it. The knife looks pretty thick. You know, it's got a pretty thick blade on there. According to the video that Craig. Cottle put out, they, they try to put a lot of focus on the the back edge of the knife so that when you're using it to strike uh, fire steel that it does get a lot of uh, sparks off of it and you could definitely feel the sharpness in that. They definitely spent some time uh, or detail, attention to detail getting the edge on the back edge really finely done. Uh, I've seen some other videos, a couple out so far, about descriptions, uh, how they were describing their knife, and you never know from one knife to another. They th they thought the edge had a little had a few imperfections in it. Uh, the tip is kind of interesting, where it's not just a sharp point tip. I'm not sure. Mine actually looks like it's got a little bit of damage to it. I can feel a burr there on it. It's not it's not as sharp a point as some of the other Mora knives. I wouldn't say that the edge is let's see, equal. Uh, it looks like one side is a little bit more than the other maybe because the tip is actually bent just ever so slightly here at the tip here. Um, the handle on the other hand is amazing. It, it's really just super grippy. It's one of the grippiest knives I think I've ever felt. Um, I don't think that your hand could be wet, so wet that you would lose a grip on this. It's really, really nice. As I said, I've got some more, more uh, other more knives, and I don't know that the grip is equal to this. The back end is shaped a little different. I'm sure it's still built on that same. Uh, three-quarter tang design but in this sort of knife you know other people have described it and, and I've definitely seen it that they're almost indestructible I mean they're just not gonna break so having it full tang or not it, I don't know it's gonna make a difference um, I will say down here at the uh, I'm noticing here I'm not sure whether there's a little bit of damage to it It's hard to point it out. It's it's not super noticeable well, right in this area right here. It's got a little flatness to the blade or there's a burr there for sure. So it, it's gotten some damage there as well. Um, and I did notice some scuffs on it when I took it out. I haven't actually used it on any wood yet. I, I just literally took it out of the package earlier tonight when I got home because I was really excited to see the new knife. Um, it just overall it feels really good in your hand. Um, it does come with the regular sheath, similar to the more knives. And it's got a, a place for your thumb there so you can push away on the knife. Uh, it, it fits, it, it's a little taller. It, it does go up the handle. One thing I notice more. is that the sheath rides really high up onto the handle. And the handle has got a pretty sharp curve there that you may see what I'm fixing to say. It seems like it's curved so much 
there's next to nothing to hold on to when you push away. So if I can if I can figure this out. If with the knife all the way in, there's so little of the handle to grip onto that it's almost useless. This there's nothing to really push against. It's when you so try to sticky. Grab the knife. Grip it. I don't know that you'd need it. It. I don't know that you can use this to pull the knife out. It's just a a trivial thing that I was noticing. But it, there's so little of the handle exposed, you just don't get a good grip. You may as well just pull it out and not worry about pushing off with it. The other thing is, and they did say that they are still in the. This is not quite a prototype knife, but it's it's closer to what they would like to build. One of the things I'm noticing is I've put it in and out of the sheath just a couple of times and I'm really starting to get a lot of wear where the sheath meets the handle to where it's really uh, smoothing it out some. That's probably a better angle right there. And it's really tearing up this grip. Well, what I may end up having to do is uh, takes a Dremel or some sandpaper or something and, and smooth this part out right in here because it's tearing the knife up. And I've, I just got it a couple of hours ago and I've you know, test fitted it in and out of the sheath a couple of times. So that would be one point that I would have them look into the sheath itself. Possibly take this or move this design down some so you have more of the handle to grip onto to pull it out. As I said, it's so grippy though, it's not going to make that big of a difference. There's not much you can say about the sheath itself because it's pretty much just like the Mora knives. Um, I would say it might Being feel a little cheaper, but I don't know what eventual price point they're going to put this knife because at. Because they're, they're still prototyping the knife a little bit and they're getting closer to their design. It was only $5. I only had to pay for the shipping and I got, they say I got the knife for free, so you never know. Overall, I, I think it's a really nice knife. Um, I definitely am happy to get it. I, I would have paid $12 for this knife. I mean, I wouldn't have felt uh, gypped at all to pay pretty close to the same. I mean, I could see where this knife would come in at maybe $10, $9.99 possibly. Um, I think it would be a good price point for this because it's going to have uh, the Dance Depot branding on it. One thing I, I would also recommend that they do from the look of it, I have a stainless steel Mora knife and it has a lot of the same pattern. Oh, I didn't even have it in the camera. It has a lot of the same metal pattern. So I can't tell whether this is a stainless steel knife or if it's a carbon steel knife. It, it, I, would, I would like for them to say it or print it on the blade somehow, some way, have it printed because there's no Mora marking on here whatsoever. You know, they've just gotten a, a smooth blade and they've had this uh, silk screened on and and I don't think this is going to last very long whereas they'd have had just just some indication of what this blade is because a year from now I, I may know now but a year from now I don't know that I'd remember um, that'd be my, uh, another suggestion that I would have is that's fine this is all nice I like this but I would just recommend that they put what kind of blade this is on there and then and then look into the sheath you know the sheath I think it comes up a little too high on the knife and it doesn't allow you to use this at all not at this not where it's at if you grip here you're just gripping the knife and you're not really pushing I don't know that I sounds trivial but it just is a when you're talking about just first impressions that's kind of what I'm seeing um, a great knife I don't know if they're still running the deal or not or how much longer I sent it out to every one of my buddies and, and to see whether they could get the same knife. I mean, for for five dollars, it's just amazing. It's a great knife. So I hope Dan's Depot does a great job with this. I mean, I hope it's successful for them. Now, I could see where, like I say, it would probably come in around the ten dollar mark uh, to beat the Mora knives and just be something that people would just impulse buy um, when they're buying other things Thanks from Dan's Depot. Thanks for my video. If you did find the video interesting, give me a thumbs up and hope you subscribe. Uh, I plan to keep making as many videos as I can, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.